The Canon 5D Mark IV's 4K capabilities gets a bad rap. But is it justified? Let's take a look. I want to take a moment to thank every single new subscriber to the channel, and I want to thank all of you who have subscribed for all of your support. Now, you're going to want to stick to the end on this one because I'm going to show you just how hard you can actually push the Canon 5D Mark IV's Motion JPEG codec when you're color grading in post in a variety of cinematic film looks as well as a couple of heavily stylized color grading looks. Now, lots of people all over the internet give the Canon 5D Mark IV a hard time, especially when it comes to 4K capture. Now, typically they have two gripes. The first one ha has to do with the crop factor, because there is a crop factor when you're capturing in 4K. I've actually already done a video addressing the crop factor and how it is that I work around it and what that actually really means in practical terms. And I'll put a card up above so that you guys can check that out if you'd like. The second gripe has to do with the actual codec that the camera uses when it's capturing in 4K. That codec is Motion JPEG, and it is data hungry for sure. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I shot the sequence knowing that I was going to push the camera's dynamic range and would put it through severe stress during the color grading process. I did what I could to avoid clipping the highlights and basically allowed the shadows to fare for themselves. From my experience, shooting with the Canon 1DC in C-Log and the same motion JPEG codec, I know that I have a great deal of flexibility when it comes to lifting the underexposed midtones. This sequence was shot during the middle of the day in full sun, and the shadows fell well below F1 when the garage door was closed. So here's the gear that I used. I used the Canon 5D Mark IV. I used a CNE lens. This is the 50, but I used the 35 for that sequence. I used a Gorilla Pod, right? So this little tiny tripod. And I used one light, and, I, and that light is the Cineo Maverick. So this, I'm sorry, Cineo Matchbox. So this little tiny light is the only thing that I used. It's so small that it can't really compete with sunlight, but it did a good job of motivating some of those interior shots so that I wasn't completely shooting in the dark. Now, I'm curious, what do you guys think? How do you think it performed? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. And like the rest of the videos in this series, I'll be sure to make all of the C-Log version of the clips available for download in case you wanna to try to grade it yourself and see how far you can actually push that codec. And I'll put a link right below the video so that you guys can find it easy. As promised, here are multiple cinematic film look color grades pushing the Motion JPEG codec and getting a ton out of the Canon 5D Mark IV. I really enjoy working with high quality codecs because they offer so much more flexibility. Now let's take a look at the two heavily stylized color grades. First, the traditional orange and teal blockbuster type of look. And now let's transition to a more SoCal, middle of the summer, in an LA suburb type of feel. I really hope that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch all the videos in the series. And until next time, 
I'm Carlos Quintero from Media IQ, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching.